poppy youtube it's your girl jay and i'm about to pop my sh again new to this channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button and if you are returning subscriber what's up game make sure everyone likes comment and share this video you guys here we are with another chit chat video okay that i meant to do yesterday that's neither here nor there y'all clicked on this video y'all already know it's another chit chat video and here we are or another chit chat visual diaries and, um just to give you guys um another rundown of what i'm doing i'm basically dropping these short videos and in, in these videos it's going to help you guys stay inspired stay motivated um i'm going to be talking about things related to mental health talking about things related to um some of my life story and experiences and then you know you guys can use it for your experiences as well talking about the sacrifices that come with making success okay or obtaining success or getting to some level of, of type of success or whatever you deem as success um, a lot of people think success is measured by um, how much money is in your pockets or the level of fame that you acquire. To me, um, success just means overall happiness, overall joyfulness. Um, if you're able to wake up, do what you love doing while making money, you have the right circle around you that loves you, supports you. You have you know, just everlasting love, joy inside and out from your peers, from your family members around you. You know, you're able to you know, manage your time wisely, handle certain situations. That is success to me. And the reason why I say that is because when you have a great character, when you are loyal, when you are honest, when you are loving, when you are giving, when you are cheerful, you're going to forever have money. Like if you know how to maintain those connections throughout life, you're going to forever have money. And it is difficult when you are on the path to success. It is sometimes difficult to maintain connections. And we're going to talk about that later. Success is just literally measured by your character. So you always want to make sure um, you have good character. I wanted to start off the video by saying that because a lot of people think that, oh, um, if I don't, if I'm not making, you know, millions a year, you know, I'm not successful. That's not the case. If you have, if you are happy, if you have the, um, if you have loving people around you and you just enjoy your life and you love your life, really success is being comfortable in whatever type of space you're in in your life that is success everyone wants to reach that comfortability and being comfortable looks different for everybody being comfortable can look like making millions a year for some people or some people can be comfortable with maybe even half a million a year you know you, you just you just never really know so success is really not measured by the money so i do want to talk about the sacrifices that we do have to make um, when we are on our path and journeys to success and one of them being sacrificing time okay um you have to use your time wisely when you are on the path and the road to success you cannot go everywhere you cannot hang with everybody you cannot be everywhere you have to learn how to limit your access and use your time wisely um it is april 21st on a friday today i'm going to be filming content it's it's dead ass like 10 it's 10 o'clock in the morning and i am up filming content because this is me sacrificing my time um i did get some good sleep like i said you know i slept really really good last night but i woke up and i was like look let me get ready go ahead film some content because why i'm sacrificing my time i told y'all that i'm trying to post more on on youtube post every day post at least three times a week um, so I can get back to building up my subscribers and my platform on YouTube. That takes time. That's not going to happen overnight. So in order to do that, I have to sacrifice my time and I have to use my time wisely. I also like to read. I also like to work out. Those are things that are fulfilling me. I don't like going out to the club all the time anymore. Occasionally, yes. But have I been out within the last couple of weeks? No, I don't think I've... Have I? Let me not lie to y'all. I don't, I don't even go out anymore. That's me using my time wisely, okay? You always want to make sure you use your time wisely. And it's going to be hard when you're um, trying to be on the road of path to success. And, you know, you want to have fun. You want to go here. You know, you're always going to get your time back. You can make money back, of course. You're never going to get your time back. So you always want to make sure you are using your time wisely. Yes, have fun. But also understand that you have to put the work in to get to success. Success is not going to come overnight. It's not going to come in the 
the blink of an hour, the snap of a finger. And it's not just going to fall out the sky into your lap. You have to actually get up and do the work and use your time wisely. And if that means sacrificing your time from your friends and um, your family, which we're going to talk about that later, you have to do so. The second thing that you have to sacrifice on the path and journey to success is money. You have to sacrifice money. Um, Y'all know the, the famous saying, to be a boss, you got to take a loss. That's just what it is. I done took several losses. I'm only 23. I have seen money come in my pockets and I have seen money leave my pockets. I have seen stuff that I worked hard for um, get taken away within the snap of a finger. All two cars, I no longer have two cars anymore. Um, you know, that's just what it is. You have to understand that in order to, in order, it takes money to make money. So you have to learn how to use your money wisely as well. Understand that you cannot use that, that money and go spend it on clothes all the time or go spend it on wigs, go spend it on nails and lashes. Or you can't go spend it on designer drip. You have to use your money wisely. That is a sacrifice to success. Because think about it. Let's say you have $2,000 right now just to spend. Just to spend on whatever you want, $2,000. If you take that $2,000 and go spend it on clothes, shoes, wigs, nails, lashes, that's a, you investing into yourself, which is good. But learn how to invest and in, in take care of yourself and do self-care on a budget. Because let's say it takes about, let's say you use half of it. Let's say you use half of it for self-care and then the other half, you know, just to spend. Okay, the other half that you're going to use just to spend, that needs to go into a business. So whatever the business is, you need to re-up on inventory. You might need to buy new um, products. You might have to focus on your branding, paying for e-books, e-flyers, or whatever it is that is going to help invest into your business. You have to learn how to use your money and sacrifice your money. I know a lot of us want to use our money. We feel like we work hard uh, for our money, so we don't want to just you know give it back right away but sometimes you have to invest in yourself and invest in your business in order to get you to success so don't always look at it as a loss like oh i have to you know buy this equipment like because i have to buy you know my camera my laptop this stuff is not cheap but this is an investment that you know is going to help me and benefit me in the long run long run in order to allow me that success into my career and what i want to do it's always about leveling up and what you can do with your time and your money the third thing i want to talk about is sacrificing relationships and um this is something i'm really starting to learn like on my success journey is that Everyone cannot go with you to the top, whether they're whether they are a family member, whether they are a family member, whether they are a friend, whether they are your, you know, acquaintance, like everyone is just not going to go with you to the top. Everyone is just not going to see your vision how you see your vision. And you have to understand it's OK to sacrifice some relationships. My thought process is. While I'm on this journey to success and I'm going after my goals and dreams, if, you know, I'm not talking to people every day, picking up the phone to call people every day, um, and they're not calling me, that doesn't mean like, hey, I don't want to talk to them or I love them any less, but it just means I'm just focused on what's ahead of me. That's not That does not mean I'm neglecting you know, anyone around me, but I have to stay focused. I have to keep my mind focused because people can be a distraction. And sometimes you have to limit yourself from certain people. You have to sacrifice that. Whether they are a parent, a cousin, a long time friend, it does not matter. You have to learn how to make those sacrifices because when you are on this journey, a lot of people will try to prey on your downfall. And I don't care how much they say they love you. Some people that even just say they love you do not want to see you win. And that just comes with it. If you ask any celebrity or any famous person or anyone who has acquired any type of success, they're going to say that they had to sacrifice their time. They had to sacrifice their money. They had to sacrifice those relationships sometimes. It's just a part of the game. And you have to get to a space of where you are content with making those sacrifices and you are content with knowing that on the other side when it's time for you know me to get back to a space of you know where i'm feeling more comfortable if those people still love me then they're going to be around but if they don't if they say oh you was acting funny da, 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 
and you know start to try to make it seem like you know you wasn't doing what you had to to do to make sure you um was in a comfortable space and you reach your success if they don't understand that then they just do not love you and that's not someone you want around you anyway so you have to understand that you have to sacrifice those three things. Those are the main three things you have to sacrifice in order to obtain success. Time, money, and relationships. That's just what it is. You could go ask Tyler Perry. I'm pretty sure you're going to say the same thing. You could go ask Steve Harvey. He's going to say the same thing. You could ask Oprah. She's going to say the same thing. These people, have, I'm pretty sure, they had to sacrifice their time, their money, and their relationships. Not all of their relationships. Because, you know, some people you do need on the path of um, your journey and road to success. You do need those ones those that is keeping you grounded, that is loving you. You're going to need that. I'm not saying that. But y'all know the connections that I'm talking about. The connections that just doesn't mean you well and that deems as a distraction. Get rid of it in that moment. And if you want to maybe, you know, link back up with that person, you know, once you feel like you're back comfortable and, you know, you're in that path of success, then yes. You can do that, but understand that having a lot of people around you while you are focused is just not a good thing because you're going to be distracted. You just are. And so I just wanted to get on here today and just talk to you guys about those three things um, of you know, obtaining success, you have to make it, make sure you make those sacrifices. And those are not the only things you will be sacrificing on your road to success. But those are the main three, time, money, and relationships. Those are things that you're going to see come and go on this path and journey to success. And I know because I lived through that. I'm only 23, but I'm telling you guys, when I get on here and I talk about these things, I'm not talking because I didn't see somebody else say this on TikTok. I'm not talking because I seen um, a viral video on YouTube about this. I'm talking about this because this is really what I experienced in my life. And I think that's what makes my journey and my path to success so beautiful because I'm actually telling th telling you guys things that I actually went through and you guys can learn from them. And it could be relatable because a lot of people that look like me do not talk about things like this. And it's okay to talk about things like this. It's okay to tell people like, hey, this is where I'm at in life. This is where I'm going. And here's how you can get there too. You feel me? This is free game. I'm dropping free game in these videos. Free game in these videos and out loud. Y'all have to tune in. Make sure y'all subscribe to Out Loud if y'all haven't. By the way, I'm in the process of rebranding that. So make sure you guys follow and do watch episodes one through four over there. But in the meantime, between time, we're here. We're going to drop these videos on this channel. And I hope you guys learned something very valuable from this video. Um... It is, I just seen 222, so period. Like, I'm just telling you, God works in mysterious ways. It don't matter how hard that this, this path gets. I'm holding on. I'm keeping faith. And I know that eventually I'm going to... I'm going to obtain the success that I want. And so that's all that matters. I thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also subscribe to Out Loud. And like and comment and share over there as well. See y'all.